earning season how has it been i mean uh, we are a month into the earning season now nigel so let me just go across and take stock of what the earnings uh, have thrown our way uh, and uh, we're actually three quarters of a percent done in terms of uh, the uh, earnings uh, season this is the third quarter season and what we typically do is uh, you know how have earnings expectations moved in this last one month for the top 200 companies uh, so we have uh, as i said uh, 70 76 companies which have reported right uh, and 52% uh, have seen uh, downgrades and 43% uh, have actually seen upgrades so more downgrades than upgrades is what we've seen to, and these are by the way bloomberg consensus expectations so for stocks for, uh, you'd say well this does not add up to 152 that is because uh, you know uh, for for many of them for some of them actually not many of them there is no coverage so this is bloomberg consensus expectations and how the street has moved uh, the earnings expectations of full year up or down so let's just uh, get on with it in terms of the top upgrades that we've seen notice something uh, you know similar all in a way new age tech right uh, look at this so eps change for and i've looked at f524 because you know you can look at f525 as well but the point is there's more certainty now with one quarter left and that will reflect in any case on f525 uh, so i've taken what is nearer so pb fintech has seen a 107% earnings upgrade for the full year f524 Delivery has seen a 36% upgrade on top of where earnings estimates were when the numbers re were reported. Zomato has seen a 21% earnings upgrade. All right, this is all new age. Look at the oil marketing companies, and we've discussed this uh, earlier. Nimesh has also put out a few pieces over the last few months. IOC has seen a 20% upgrade. HPCL has seen a 13% upgrade. BPCL has seen about a 10% upgrade. And <clears throat> it's strange. I mean, oil, uh, oil stocks do well. Aviation stocks are also doing well. Interglobe has seen another 19% upgrade. So Indigo is on a roll. Maruti has seen a 14% upgrade. And of course, I mean, you know, Trent, we were just discussing this off air, 13% upgrade uh, for Trent and full year earnings expectations. And there are some cement names as well. ACC is on the list and there is Ambuja Cements as well. But upgrades are in the minority. Downgrades are uh, the longer list here. And once again, chemicals top the list in terms of the number of companies which have seen downgrades, UPL. Uh, it's a big one, right? UPL, of course, <clears throat> uh, the uh, uh, troubles are mounting. Naveen Florin, 30% nearly. Gujarat Floro has seen a 23%. And Tata Chemicals also disappointed and has seen a 20% downgrade. Uh, the <clears throat> QSR companies like Devyani International, Jubilant Food, and we kind of, again, talked about how, you know, uh, names like Zomato are doing well, but QSR chains are not. Nika is another one which has seen a 41% downgrade. Uh, then there's Pyramid Enterprises, I mean, uh, you know, some companies, Loris Laboratories, continuous disappointment. Adani Wilmar has seen also a sharp disappointment. Vedanta has seen a 22% downgrade. Tarasila was a little surprised, but it showed up on the list uh, with uh, a 40% downgrade to full year earnings expectations as well. So that's the list. I mean, 76% done for the third quarter earnings season. But the overall picture is not all that uh, sort of pretty with uh, much more, many more downgrades as compared to upgrades. Mihir,